NASA is known for their space explorations, but they also have an eye on something in Illinois, farmland. In what feels like an unlikely partnership, NASA and Illinois farm families are teaming up to preserve land. Joining us now is the director of water quality science of Illinois corn, Dr. Laura Gentry. Dr. Gentry, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, thank you for having me on the show. So most of our viewers are pretty removed from the farmland, at least sort of in the urban center core of Chicago. Help introduce us to Illinois farm families and then how this partnership formed in the first place. It's really interesting. Yeah, the Illinois farm families is, is a coalition of a lot of the different major commodity and agricultural associations and, and support groups that work for and with farmers across Illinois. And the whole goal of it really is just to give everybody a chance to be able to look at the lives of the work of the farmers across Illinois, across the Midwest, how we do our work, what matters to us, what our challenges are. And um, the, the work that we do, we are proud of and you know, we, we want people to take an interest in it and um, be there to ask us the tough questions, challenge us but also hear our side and, and hear everything that we're doing for agriculture. Let's talk about this project and how it helps agriculture and other farmlands around the U.S. or even the world. Talk about this relationship. Well, NASA has actually taken an interest in agriculture, uh, well, since NASA started over 60 years ago. It's uh, supported the work of farmers with uh, their information that they provide to a lot of government agencies, U.S. Department of Agriculture, of course, but also NOAA to help with all the, the critical weather work that um, is so important to, to farming. And they also, NASA's also been observing agricultural fields, not just in the United States, but around the world, for decades with the, the interest of national and international security. Um, but in the past, 10 to 15 years, agriculture has seen just big, big changes. And one of the most significant changes we've seen has been the decline of the number of farmers in mm -hmm. our country, um, sadly. And so we have fewer farmers managing our farmland and uh, the average farmer is managing a lot more land than they did you know, two decades ago. So these technological developments that allow for better decision-making, uh, more efficient use of inputs, all of that's really critical, and we have turned to NASA, and um, we're, we're hoping to develop some really great new technology. Can you give us one example of technology that's at play for these farmers, the fewer farmers that there are, but the new ways that they are farming? Give us an example of maybe one piece of cool technology we don't know about. Oh, the, the guidance technology is, is pretty amazing. Just really incredible advancements that have been made there, and much of that is, you know, relies on the satellite information that's overseen by NASA. Um, so that is a really neat one, the way that our equipment can manage our fields, um, the way that it brings the grain in, and the, just the whole process all the way through that we use to harvest uh, has been pretty phenomenal, the way we manage our fields. But we have all these agricultural inputs too that have advanced incredibly in the last two decades. The fertilizer, the chemicals, the seed technology, all of that is helping to make our farm and more farmers and our farms and our land more sustainable as we produce and as we use them to interact uh, with the environment. Very cool. Very, very interesting. Thanks so much for spending yeah. some time with us. We really appreciate you kind of laying that out for us. Dr. Laura Gentry, she's the Director of Water Quality Science of Illinois Corn. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Thanks very much.